I am going to fillet these bad boy mullets the traditional way you would in Florida, which is smoked mullet, but butterflied and boneless. So you're probably wondering what that is. It's gonna be slightly different than I would normally fillet any other fish, so here we go. I'm gonna use a really small knife today. This is perfect for smaller fish, particularly mullet. I love to cut bait with it as well, um, the four inch bait breaker. All right, so we've got the fish flipped over. First thing you wanna do is just make an incision right here. Just one incision, straight down. Next thing you do, make sure you cut all the way through on both sides. There we go. Pull back and separate that head. Comes right off, no problem. Just take your knife, go between those collars, cut that head right off. And the collar is still attached to the fish, by the way. There we go, heads off. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna come back here, still the fish flipped upside down, go to the anal fin, make an incision, go down. Turn that blade this way, and you're gonna cut that anal fin off. Just like that. Yep. There we go. All right, so that's gonna help with the process of butterflying this fish open. So now what we're gonna do is, I would flay it the normal way. We're gonna go down the spine here. So we're gonna go on one side of the fish with his head removed. And we're gonna follow that down. And you see these crazy scales stacking up on my knife here? They're just covered in the thickest scales ever. And these fish are bottom feeders. They actually don't really eat any meat. They're, they eat algae and vegetation and stuff like that. So they're always scraping up on the bottom, whatever they're eating. So scales help protect them. And they're also a bait fish. As you guys know, you, you know that we use these quite a bit when we're out fishing. Everything in the sea or everything that swims in the salt water loves to eat mullet. Now we got rib cage bones up here, just like any other fish. Go around those. Look how white this meat looks. It looks insane, absolutely insane. Now, as you get down closer, you don't wanna go all the way through. You wanna leave that intact because again, we're gonna butterfly this fish open. So now we got down as close as possible. Make sure you don't cut through. That's done. Flip them over, do the same exact thing on the other side. Follow that spine bone all the way down. And by the way, guys, this is actually a striped mullet, also known as a black mullet. There are different kinds of different species of mullet out there. Silver mullet or white mullet is another common one as well. But again, this is a considered a black mullet, also known as a striped mullet. All right, now we're gonna go all the way down. Just keep doing the same exact thing, go through those rib cage bones. And like I said, this is the traditional way you would do it in Florida. You would go up to a roadside stand and they'll sell it to you butterflied and smoked. And so you know what, I figured we'll just do the traditional way. I am a third generation Floridian. And even though I didn't technically grow up, you know, eating mullet, but I figured I might as well do it the traditional Florida style way that we would do it down here in the South. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this. So go ahead and drop a comment down below if you actually have had smoked mullet before, or if this is the way that you actually like to fillet them. I would be curious to know. So share that info with us. All right, so you can see we got that filleted down both sides. Now, this should just pop right out. Let me just get that separated right there. Okay, so now, just get you're gonna get your hands nice and dirty. Don't be afraid. Get in there. There we go. Now I should be able to just rip this spine bone right out. Look at this. Done. There's his spine and a lot of his guts innards intact, perfect. Now we have a beautiful boneless, skinless, or boneless mullet filet here, and just look how much meat is on that fish. Now right here in the middle, there's a black lining here, and all mullet bellies have this. You can see it's kind of pulling right off, so you can just scrape that with your fingers, get it nice and dirty, you can do that. And also another way to help you with this, have a, salt, a bucket of salt water with you. I actually just mixed this with kosher salt and hose water, just made my own salt water. You can take some from the ocean if you like, but this is the way to do it. And you really can scrub that right off and get it nice and white when you get ready to smoke this fish. Well, first we gotta brine them, but just get all that black lining off and this is the way to do it. Scrub it nice and good. And I'll clean them up the rest in the house, but look at that giant mullet butterflied filet right there. That is sick. You can see right there, I didn't take the scales off. We're gonna leave the scales on. It'll help with the smoking process and give it a little bit of protection there. Beautiful. 